Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever. We are looking at uh, what seems to be our hometown currently and how things are shaping up. It has grown a little bit, it seems. Uh, we have the nice big residential area, a little bit of uh, commercial through here and then industrial up here. So things are segmenting, which is nice. I'm hoping that the town continues to wrap around the train station because I think we put it in a good central location there. In fact, the same thing is going to hopefully happen up here to Sandhurst. And uh, Sandhurst is actually the topic of the day. Wow, they, <laughs> they managed to get a road through here. I don't know how they did that. Um, there's literally no cars that can go... Why? Whatever. Anyways, um, what we're going to be doing is hopefully getting a bread shuttle by shuttle i mean train from our uh food factory here all the way up to sanders um not only because it's gonna hopefully turn a profit um but you'll notice that our bread line is actually slowing down because we actually have too much bread too much bread and what we're gonna have to do is ship it out somewhere now we can supply hailzoan with uh, carts right it's close enough um, that's kind of the limit and max distance I would really do with carts. But uh, for this case, we'll go ahead and keep it. And instead, we're going to build a new mainline section. It's going to kind of junction off from here. And uh, go this way off towards the uh, mainline on the right side of the river. Now, I don't know if I want to have a mainline follow this side and the other side. That's kind of up to debate. But we'll see. Uh, we're going to probably be spending a lot more money again today all right so we need to have height markers on so we can see kind of how things are sloping out and the nice thing is I want to try and get a bridge across here so that we can uh, keep the bridge high above the waterway so that eventually maybe boat traffic and things aren't going to disturb it so let's go ahead and just get this out here. Alright, you can, you can see we're definitely spending a lot of money. This, this bridge by itself is going to spend a lot of money. This is going to have to be a single track bridge for now. Um, just simply due to money concerns. That should be okay. I'm gonna try and get the uh, spacing here a little bit better. So we're gonna go slightly up. All right, and then we are gonna go straight. Gotta make sure this is a straight piece of track. That's something that we did not do very well on the other side with the road bridge. Wow, look how tall that is. That is pretty tall and also uh, way over budget. And by over budget, I mean uh, we, need, we need some more loan. We need some more loan here. All right, there we go. And then we will uh, go down to about there. That's looking pretty good. Nice, nice even slope. In which case, Let's see, how do we want this uh, rail line to move from here? As you can see, I, I kind of picked a spot where there's a little bit of a hill in the way. I'll tell you what, I think having it kind of follow uh, this line a little bit, and then, then on its way down here, we'll cross the road and get our junction. So um, for now, I think that's a good trade-off. So we'll go down like this. And then we will kind of curve it around. Try my best to only curve out one side here. And we're gonna try and come at this pretty straight. I'm not gonna do what we did last time in Transport Fever. It seems like I had a major problem with just making bridge kind of overpasses. It's not very accurate um, from my understanding now. Uh, it would definitely be more of just a simple junction because really trains can operate with that quite nicely. So we're gonna do a junction over this way. 
Or do I want it already to cross here? Hmm. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's let's start on the opposite side. So we'll we'll do that. That is that is a pretty sharp junction there. Let's get as close as possible to there. Or maybe not. Maybe it would be best to get this side going. I want a good looking curve, you know, nothing nothing too crazy, but also something that looks pretty nice. So this junction, as you can see, is gonna create a bit of an issue. But that's okay, that's why you can simply dual track it a bit. I'm gonna try and get these fairly um, matching. At least the curves. Now how they merge over, that's gonna be kind of unique to each side. So this one's gonna go up this way, it's gonna follow up and then turn into a single track at the bridge. All right. So this is gonna merge, I think, after this roadway. And then it's going to merge like so. Over to the right. And this one over to the left. Now, how do you get these to go across? Because normally you would just simply just bring it all the way over, right? So if the train wanted to go this way, it could. So maybe we can do that. We'll grab a junction and we'll make it pretty long. Through there. And we'll do the same on this side. So this section is now um, basically uh, a, a full junction. It's not just a, a passing lane. It has that in there. But uh, over here, there's a major switch to uh, switch lanes up through here if that's what you need to do. And then a um, hopefully a switch back if that's what you need to do as well. Yeah, I mean, both of these merge. The trouble will be when, when you get more than one train on this line, but for now we're gonna only have one train on it. So we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So over here, we're gonna do the same about yay. About yay. And uh, what I wanna do is actually go ahead and delete all these. All right, and we'll grab the terrain tool and we are going to smooth this out a little bit. Now this was always kind of a bumpy section in the track, so I'm just kind of fixing that a bit here now because I want it to be a little bit more smooth than before. All right, let's rebuild the line a bit. So we will, I mean like we could do this, but you can see the the track here kind of gaining height. I wish, you know, Railway Empire does that nice kind of node add system, which I kind of wish we could do with Transport Fever. But instead, what I'll do is try and keep that shape a bit. And then bring it over here. So I think no matter what, just to, to uh, how this terrain is, we're gonna get a little bit of a weird section through there, but uh, I think already it's a little bit better than before. It's a little bit more straight and gentle, which is what I was hoping for. And then we'll get the terrain tool out. I know I'm spending a lot of money on this, but it, trust me, it's, it's worth doing. Alright, there we go. We'll just, we're just going to raise this up. And, and and the best way to terraform is just go off the uh, height line here, right? So you're just chasing the border of this height line to make it raised. And then you can just smooth it out. There you go. So that's how you can raise up a section of track. This can remain high. I'm okay with that. Alright. And we want the track to kind of go up 
through here, gain height, and probably just follow this grid line and then drop down again. Again, we are kind of running out of money. Seems to be the theme of this episode. How little money can you first get? All right, so uh, an interest to get this line kind of correct. I'm going to kind of build a straight section up here, kind of like a measuring stick, you know? And we'll use that to start curving the line down a bit. And then we can, in one swift motion, hopefully, get this to curve. A nice manner. Over to here. All right. And we'll curve this one. Oh, I'm out of money. Oh no, we can't re we can't borrow any more money. Shoot. All right, let's speed up time. Let's let's see. This this is. This is where you make or break it a little bit here with Transport Fever. But once we can get this line set up and... What's this? Try to ship more items. I'm shipping as many as I can to this town, man. Like, it's not enough. That's what we're trying to do now. A little bit of a roundabout way, but uh, it'll hopefully look nice. I do like the looks of this bridge. Oh, look, we're in the negative months. Great. 10 out of 10. Wood, wood money again. Wow. That's, that is such a high bridge. But boy, does it look good. I love wooden bridges like this. You know, it, it makes me think of Alpine Odyssey a little bit. All right, so when the, this train... Um, comes back with some grain and animals. It will get uh, some money. I'll instantly pause it and try and spend all that money getting this train line hooked up. And if we succeed, we'll be good. We'll be gold. What would be cool to do eventually is to run a train line right along the river's edge and go underneath this bridge. That, that would be like, hmm, so picturesque, you know, to just, just, uh, flow down through this way. All right, train, you're arriving. All right, so there we go. You, you, you gave us 50K or 100K and we lost 50K. That's fine. That's fine. That's all we really needed, I think, for now. Oh my God, this is expensive. try and make this count as a junction completely and, and, and be fine with it. Alright, so how much money do we need now? We need 170k. This is this is a major, major height change that we're gonna be trying to squeeze up through this hillside. So it's basically going to be another load of cargo out here at the farm. But uh, production is slowing so much on that that it's actually becoming uh, almost unprofitable. Almost, though. How's our passenger train doing? Is it finally making us some money? It sounds like it, it's getting close. Yes, it is. 
So we finally have kind of enough people realizing this train system is working. So that is generating money. So that's good. You know, we got people waiting at the terminal. Workflow is is processing. Grand Central Station uh, still needs a lot of work, but uh, growth growth will happen over time. I'm just a little worried that they'll start building homes in here again, like they did at the other place. What's this? A new vehicle is available. It is the uh, Frontenic. It is uh, cool. Uh-oh. Tell you what, we have too many trains doing this route. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna turn around, you're gonna go back to the depot. Send a depot and sell. We need to get rid of you. We're gonna get rid of this train. Um, right now, it's just not cost effective to have two trains running due to the uh, loss of income. So he's gonna turn around, he's gonna go back, and we're gonna sell that. Which sucks, but, you know, it, it, it needed to happen. So he's gonna return there. And, uh, yeah, see, so he, he's costing us 23000 a month. So we just made $1.32 million by selling it. Which means we can build this junction now. to go up this hillside. Now, just because I'm crazy and uh, probably a little naive, I'll go ahead and spend some money kind of raising the train up a little bit. It looks a little wonky. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna try and pull this uh, height line out a bit. And then go over with a smooth tool. Smooth this out. That way it looks, you know, like it's actually kind of climbing a hill rather than cutting into it, you know? Yeah, looks, looks a little bit better. This could be probably pushed back a little bit with some rocks and stuff, but we're not gonna get all aesthetic crazily here. All right, so this is our uh, kind of section to get across the river. That is good to go. So what we will do, hopefully, is set up some some lights. We need we need to get these set up. All right. I, I don't even know how to set this up, and, and really what I think needs to happen is something like this. In the sense that these trains are going to be coming out this way. to have a junction over here. And this train is going to have that and that. Right? And then if it chooses to pass that section, we're going to have a junction, or not a junction, but a light there. And this, we need a light after. Okay, so chooses not to go that way. And then uh, we need to have a, a light down here. Like that. I think, I think in theory that'll work. This is all single track up through there. Now over here, <laughs> by this craziness. Okay, so we need to have 
the signal after this junction. Basically, like, hey, you can move on now if you need. A single signal before this one, you know, in case the people are going this way. And then a signal here, and we'll keep that signal up there. That That's a fine space for it. Uh, that's okay. We will have a uh, signal in the middle here, just so we can have some room for trains if they need to stop. In fact, we'll do that uh, roughly in the middle here as well. And this signal can wait. And then we have this signal here. And this signal here, if they choose to go up through this way to leave. And then... Boy, this is tough. I think for now this will operate. Again, we're only going to have one train on this whole track. So it should be okay. It should be okay. I'm crossing my fingers. It's probably going to break. But we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. So buy a new train. Let's take a look at what we got. So we're, we're probably gonna have to use the uh, Class 53 again. All right, so we'll buy that. We will buy uh, a few goods and set this for food. All right, so we're gonna buy two, Not enough money for all of those, but that's okay. This will still get, uh... Man, that is not a big car. Not a big wagon. That's fine. That's fine. We can always we can, we can always make it bigger. So we are going to set up a new line. All right. And we're going to call this the. What's the name of this place again? I guess I'll, I'll find out in just a second. So it needs to go here, Hells Owen, over to Sandhurst. So we'll call this the uh, Sandhurst. Red shuttle. All right, save that. Keep that teal. That's a good color. Now let's look at some of this traffic a bit. Good. Looking good. And it looks like it does know how to single track and work its way back up through here. And it comes back down here and uh, maintains it, its spacing there so you know progress hey you know so we're gonna set line to uh, the bread shuttle we'll hit play now initially this thing's not gonna carry bread right because there's no way for this to get to the station just yet but I can actually force it so I'm gonna let it go up here and I'm gonna tell it to turn around uh, so it'll hopefully go back into the station, pick up red. And then we will go ahead and we're going to ride this whole train line. Now granted it might be sped up, but um, I think it's, it's good to do this from time to time. Here we go. Off we go. Now I like this new track, it's a lot more smooth. We're going to go up into the hillside a little bit. Pass through these gates. And uh, there, down there, over to the uh, right there. I wish I could kind of look around on this camera. Yeah, you can. Um, you know, we just passed the factory area. We're coming up to the bridge now. Looking good. I like this. Now, where's your water barrels? I don't have any. What's that? What if that thing catches on fire? Never know. What could happen? All right, and we'll head down here across the road. Join up to the main line. 
go through all those junctions. And now we are making our way to Sanders. Which is good. Really, really good. Cutting through the forest, this looks nice. Hello, other train. Oh, clicked off. And there's uh, Sanders up there. You can see, you know, the industrial age is here and it's, it's just uh, covered in smog from the distance. Ho hopefully the bread doesn't smell funky when you get here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Maintain pretty much full max speed the whole way. Don't hit that person. Don't hit that person. Oh, she's dead. You're dead. It's all over. All right, now the uh, train has made its route, which means hopefully the bread shuttle now realizes, hey, we can load bread into this new train station and it has a place to go. So that might mean production kicks back up or, you know, by the time we exit this view, we could be completely poor. But that's the risk you kind of take when you are uh, playing this game and doing some more long range hauls that we have been doing at the start. I can't wait till we detail out the track. Like I might, I might put a lot more trees in the areas. It's rocks. And there goes the passenger train. Here we are coming back up to that bridge. I like that view of the bridge. Oops. This, this one's a better view of the bridge, I think. Go up and over. Nice. Cut through the countryside a little bit. This will need to move down. I don't think they would leave those little hills. I think they would keep the hill away from the track a little bit more. Even up these, these would be cut back, I think, a little bit more. So we're waiting here. That train left. So we'll go ahead. And head into the station again. Now you can see there is bread for us to pick up this time. So now it is actually carrying some bread. Which is good. Good, good. So we have the bread shuttle started. Um, we need to add a lot more, you know, cars to this train. It's not carrying very much bread. And, and that's something I would like to fix. Boy, let me tell you. Music skipping out on me here. I don't know why it's doing that so much. Uh, this is basically full. This line usage, yes. So at least we're using that line. And with that, you can see the uh, the station has picked up. So this train is not having to wait as long anymore by itself. So we, we're, we're doing a little bit better. This train's coming in through, and I don't... Okay, I was really worried this train wouldn't stop. But that means... That, that's a good test of our signals. That means it's working. It's working as intended. Now, I'm still a big fan of bridge overpasses and, and like, maybe some tunnel underpasses just to keep the flow of traffic uninterfering with each other. But, you know, practicality can sometimes win out, especially early on like this. Look at all these people waiting. 34 people waiting. Let's see how much this makes. This is almost a full train. 88k. How's its finances doing? It's still turning a profit. So that's good. Hopefully more people will want to move up here. This train, our first little bread delivery. Made 37k. It's not that great, but we'll send it to the depot. So we know the line is working, which means um, we can we can go ahead and try and add some more cars. We have a little bit more money now, and we'll go ahead and just add a whole bunch of more cars to it. Because right now you can see the they're not really loading this station up a whole lot with bread, and I think that has to do a lot with the fact that we only have 12 units shipping. But if we can add oh how many how many units does this ship four each? And how many road vehicles do we have? 
how many road vehicles do we have? Is there a good way to test that? You can upgrade the road depot? That's weird. Uh, is, is there no way to count how many road vehicles you got? I could have sworn there was. I, I, I guess not. I guess not at all. Hmm. That's odd. That's an odd one. Alright, is this train back yet? Is it taking its sweet time? Or did it already come back and I didn't see it? Nope, it's not back yet. Train. Or did it go to a different depot? I bet it went to this depot. Yep. Okay, bye train. Alright, get some more bread wagons in here. One, two... Three. So that doubled how much bread it can carry. Let's let's wait until maybe we can get a little bit more. I mean, this train's about to come in with a whole load of people. Nice. Not enough to buy another wagon. Wagons are surprisingly expensive. 125,000 per wagon. But, uh... We will let this train come in. Which will give us just that a little bit more. You can see these goods actually went away. Because uh, currently since our train in the depot. It, it's kind of forgetting that this line exists. I, ju I just want to get this final wagon. I want this thing to be a little bit longer than it is now. There we go. All right, and off you go. We'll go ahead and set the line here. We will set this thing to full load. And Unload only. Over there for now. So let's speed up time. The train will make its way from its depot out here. I don't know if it's already doing that yet. Or is it going? It, it's actually just going up there. Actually, no, it's longer. I was confused. I'm used to seeing the short train. There we go. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, well, I, I guess I guess he, he has an appointment up there at Sanders first. That's fine. I suppose that, that gives us some, some time to wait. New upgrade or downgrade schedules. Re I really can't wait till we can upgrade that. And I can't wait till we get some more road vehicles. But I'm happy I slowed down the progression of the game. And, and you know, it kind of gets you... You know, accustomed to using certain vehicles for a bit, and then they don't go quite out of uh, out of utility. Here, how how are, how are our taxis? So I set up a little taxiway off off screen. I didn't actually go over this at all, and basically it's just a, a loop to uh, carry passengers throughout the town a little bit, so we can get some people moving. And that really helps out the train stations if you have people moving around. You know, like we have a, a station on this side, you know, and ten people are waiting or so. And, and then they want to get dropped off into different sections. It, it, it means they, they can actually feel like they can use this train station uh, without having to walk the whole way. Which which encourages its, its usage. That's the passenger train. This is the 
where is that bread train at? There it is. I really like the looks of this train. The green paint and everything. And that is a thumbnail. That is the thumbnail for the episode. Right now, fan finances, this train's not doing well. Not doing well at all. But, give us some time. Um, we'll try and ship even more and more and more bread out of this place. As much as we need. Alright, good. He's arriving. So, he is set to wait for a full load of bread. Hopefully, the factory will kind of realize that, you know, it could, it could probably hurry it up and load this up the train, you know, as a priority. Because eventually, when this station becomes a little bit more busy, we're going to have to come up with a way that we can use both, both sides of the platform at once. Right now, it's not set up to do that because... Currently, there's usually only one train here at a time, but, you know, when we get two bread shuttles going, and maybe two, um, grain and, and animal shuttles, you know, you, you're, you're, you're talking about a heavy usage over here. Very heavy. How's it doing? 17 out of 28. Come on, I, I, I just want to see how much money you can make a little little train. You can do it. You're beautiful. Look at that. Now I wonder what the other one looks like. It's gonna stop in a second, and it's and it's older, so it might be getting rusty. Oh god, it came in. Where's it gonna go? Oh, on the other platform. Good. Look at that. So this one, if I can see it. Mm, doesn't look much different. It's a little bit more patine. Adds a little bit more of that, uh, you know, old look to it, but not, not ridiculous amounts. So close, little bread shuttle. So close. You can do it, buddy. You can just hear wagons. This whole area is really busy. Is this town growing at all? Poor on jobs. Good on shopping. Mediocre on population. Sanders, poor, poor, mediocre on population. So hopefully when we start getting more bread shuttles out here... That'll be good. That'll be good. Oh, there it goes. There goes the bread shuttle, finally. Finally going off. Wish I had a little bit more control on how far each zoom section would go. Like a, just a little bit more. So I can get get those sweet, sweet screenshots for you guys. By the way, this is a longer episode. If you couldn't tell already, it's already 40 minutes long. But we'll just see how much this thing makes. We'll end the episode there, and then we'll pick up the next episode. Trying to expand capacity. Maybe think about getting a new industry going, but I think we'll have to wait just one episode before that. But, you know, we're, we're getting plenty of tracks. You know, we're, we're gaining some utility. Now, granted, it's it's a little bit of an ugly track network. You know, it's not, it's not optimum, but um, optimal, I guess. And, but, you know, it, it, as long as it functions, I think I think that's priority number one. Priority number two would to make it look damn nice. Look at this little forest. I like that a lot. Boom. Right through the trees. We could get, like, a mountain train going. That'd be cool. 
So uh, do let me know in the comments down below after this episode uh, what industry or what you guys want me to work towards next. That really helps me out. And um, we'll see how much the thing makes. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to see some more creative goodness such as this. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. And uh, we'll make 94000 a trip. Sounds good. So with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.